some magnificent views. This is the Dene to Kumshet hike via the Ajuba peak. Quite an amazing uh, gully. Making our way almost at the top. Yeah, quite an adventurous hike. So let's start it from the very beginning. We were in the village of Samrid and uh, after a quick breakfast we started hiking towards the Karoli Ghat. Twenty seventh of December twenty twenty two. Yeah, you can see the beautiful Karoli Ghat. This is an alternative to Sandan Valley. Sandan Valley requires some climbing equipment as you have to rappel down some steep slopes, but this one is a hiking route. Some one kilometer away from the village of Samrit. And the local individual is so helpful that he came all the way just to show us the way. We told him that it's okay, we can go through the map. Nothing much to worry, but he was like, no, I'll show it to you. There's all in all a trail through these black rocks and stones. Nice wind early morning. You can very clearly see the Ajoba peak. This is the one. The aim is to get down to Dene and then climb up through this valley in between this ridge line and the Ajoba peak ridge line. The valley in between these two will take us all the way up to the plateau of the where the Kumshet village is we've done some 1.75 kilometers in the last 44 minutes time is 8.30 am it's a nice trail So we have made it to the 
Sandhan Valley. This is our joining point. Beautiful views. And now all we have to do is follow this riverbed. 2.2 kilometers, 1 hour 30 minutes. Time is 9.15. Now we'll descend down through this valley and go all the way to this village called Dehne. There's plenty of drinking water here in the month of December, so no need to worry about hydration. There's a beautiful trail along the riverbed which will let you cross this section very quickly. So beyond the trail you can skip the riverbed after a while. Namaste Kaka. Now it's a pretty long walk, some 3 to 4 kilometers flat walk. Now again month of December, today is 20. 7th of December and you can see the sky is not very clear but this is the Azuba peak and that's our target that's where we'll climb it from so we are in the hamlet of Varpadi we skipped Dene because it was little longer and the contours were flat We have triplas. Are you nice? Kaka. Kaka. One. Are you? Gujarat or not? No. Let's go. Let's go. 11, 11 a.m. We've already done some 8.5 kilometers. Now as we are hiking we can see Ratangad and the Kutha Pinnacle again. Super hot. But once we get into the side valley I think it should be all fine. We'll be in the shade for quite some time. Now after hiking for some 12 kilometers we've started Hiking into the valley that will take us all the way to the Ajoba top. It's not much of a used path. But I guess this one will take us up. Now there's a big uh, waterfall. Seems like a dead end. And then the trail just climbs up vertically. But you see, not at all significant. Because I guess very few people are going up through this route. That's where we need to go. It's super hot. Quite a thick forest, quite a struggle to figure out where the trail is and some pretty old markings. So hope that we are on the right trail and the forest cover is so dense that you cannot actually see any landmarks. So you have to keep your direction sense correct and then you know, just sort of keep hiking. Everything on the top is covered.
Yeah, until now we have found just two cairns, which gives you the idea that you are on the right trail. Good, quite a unique experience. Ribbon, they can they Yeah, after so much of struggle in the forest, we can finally see the entry point. That's the point from where we have to enter and this whole forest was, was quite tricky because there is no trail at all we are trying to figure out our way through bushes looking for some clues quite an effort you can climb up straight a bit I'll be left. There's a hold on to your right. Huh. Yeah. Thank God that we're in the shade, otherwise we, the body would have dehydrated. This is Shravan's first hike with me. <laughs> I hope he's having fun. Yes, yes. Just a little bit careful here and go up nice and easy. I think this is easier either to your right. You can come here. Yeah. yeah. Done. over and out <laughs> so this is the last uh, leg of the climb and then this is how the plateau on the top looks like now we are almost uh, on the top yeah. lovely what a beautiful beautiful climb that's a zoba and you get an amazing view of the whole valley amazing this one was quite something. Time is 3 p.m. We have done with some 16 kilometers. Time is 3.10 p.m. We are reaching the Kumshit Plateau. Quite happy to see clouds today. And this is the gigantic Azoba top, 1255 meters. The Azoba peak looks extremely beautiful and it's a giant hill. 
This is the Kamshet Plateau, big and beautiful. Time to eat something, take a break. Now we are moving towards uh, Kumshit, the bigger village in the whole area. That's a beautiful small check dam. And we all quickly took a bath, washed our clothes. You can always ask the locals, they can give you a bucket. <coughs> you can nicely have fresh clothes again. So it feels really nice, light and recovered if you take a bath using cold water in the village if you can find if you can find a water body. <coughs> So our clothes are hanging, I think they'll be all dried up till the morning and this is our bed for the night, four mats, four people, yeah, time to sleep, 9.30 pm. Yeah. Good night people. Now guys, this is all I had for this particular video log from the beautiful Western Ghats or the Sayadris and I definitely enjoyed this trail to a great extent. Now if you have any queries related to this specific hike or in related to trekking or hiking in general then please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section below and I promise you a prompt reply. Now if you're also somebody who relates with the idea of independent trekking or speed hiking and you would also want to do all these treks all by yourself in a self-supported, self-navigated manner then I would request you to check out my ultimate speed hiking course which is a week-long field course which completely focuses on all the important aspects or all the important skills that an individual or an outdoor enthusiast needs to acquire in order to become an efficient hiker in the longer run without obviously compromising on his or her safety in the outdoors. Now guys I've dropped the link to the web page that contains all the details related to the course in the video description below. So do check it out or maybe share it with somebody whom you think can utilize this course in order to excel in his or her present hiking journey and could become an independent hiker with a minimal ecological footprint in the longer run. This is all I had for this particular video. Thank you so much for all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one.